21. <laughs> Faisal appears to live the life of an average, happy 11 year old boy. But to his mum, it's a life she never thought possible. He was diagnosed as having autism spectrum disorder, or ASD, when he was three. Back in the day, it felt like, okay, where do I go? Where do I go now? You know, it's like, what happens? So I did travel to, to the States to try to get, get a proper diagnosis, which I got. Eight years later, there's no need to fly halfway around the world because Qatar's become a leader in autism research in the Middle East. Researchers at Qatar's Biomedical Center are testing new technology that diagnoses autism in infants as young as six months old by simply tracking their eye movement. This simple device picks up eye gaze abnormalities linked to autism. By monitoring eye movement as children look at faces on a screen, doctors are able to give a diagnosis in minutes when it used to take a lot longer. The research team leader says an early diagnosis makes all the difference. The longer uh, a child with autism goes without help, uh, the harder intervention becomes. Therefore, early intervention is the key for autism. Scientists have also conducted a prevalence study looking at the rate in Qatar. The field study is the first of its kind in the region. It's hoped the findings will pinpoint genetic factors that may influence autism and prove useful when it comes to treatment. Any family who found any problem with her kids can get an easy access to such a diagnostic methods without the long uh, waiting list which used to be done. Not only here, it's everywhere in the world. The new technology will ensure that ASD sufferers in future won't have to wait as long as Faisal for that crucial diagnosis. And doctors hope it'll take the medical world one step closer to finding the cause and maybe even a cure for a condition that poses more questions than provides answers. Karaleg, Al Jazeera, Doha.